Hello Internet, I am Ben Mansell from PC Powerplay magazine and this is the new Fanatec McLaren GT3 wheel which I ordered seven months ago and was finally delivered last week. You can buy it now or should you? I've been having red hot goes with it, let's see if it should be something you should consider or not. I've always thought, and I'm quite sure many of you will agree, that the Formula wheel is just too small. It's not modelled off the Formula One wheels in the real world. A lot of people think they are. In fact, they're modelled off the lower series Formula classes like Formula Renault, GT2, GT3. The advantage of a smaller wheel is quicker rotation. Vroom, vroom. You can move it around really quickly. A larger wheel, slower but more precision, so different types of usefulness. This, I think, fills the middle ground absolutely perfectly, and that's why it's a potential replacement for both the others. And if you're looking at jumping into the Fnatic ecosystem from the get-go and you start with one wheel, which one's it going to be? I think it should be this one. Now, as I said earlier, it's modelled on McLaren's actual CAD files, so it's millimetre perfect. Big plus you get there is it's incredible to hold. The other wheels are just tubes, nice covered with Alcantara, but tubes nevertheless. This is ergonomic perfection. It has little ridges, it has valleys, it's moulded to the hand. You just wrap around it and it feels like you're holding the car and throwing it around. The distance between your hands is absolutely perfect and the buttons are within reach, which of course they should be. So that's one win for this over the club sport. Also unique about this wheel, not just the number of buttons they have, but where they are and what they do. Now, it's modelled after the McLaren wheel, so there's nothing that Fanatec could have done. They have to put the buttons where they are. That means that these two, I should note, are really heavily sprung. They're a pain to press, but that means you assign the things that you use infrequently, like a pit-in request or a pit speed limiter. If you're already racing with the Fanatec gear, you've got the base, and you would know that they've got 15 or 16 different wheels that you can choose from. Most people have one of these, the Formula wheel and it's so similar to the new GT3 wheel, we're going to take a real close look and see which one is better. Should you get both? Should you just get one? Many people also have a proper round steering wheel. Here's the BMW wheel, or one like it. So what's really interesting about this new McLaren wheel is it potentially replaces this one and most definitely is a contender for replacing the formula wheel. Let's talk about how much it costs and is it good value. On its own, it's $260. It comes with the same connector you find on the lower end CSL Elite products from Fanatec, and that means that it screws onto your base and stays there until you unscrew it. As opposed to the Formula Wheels, beautiful spring mechanism. Now you can buy the spring mechanism separately for this. It costs $150. I went ahead and bought it because I think that it's a must-have item simply because of the engineering prestige it adds to it. In practical terms, very little gained. It'll cut 15 seconds off the time it takes you to change a wheel, and there really isn't much more to it than that. That means this $260 wheel with the $150 quick release makes it considerably more expensive than the $299 formula wheel, which includes the quick release. So my only criticism of Fanatec there is that you should be allowed to choose which connector type you want when you order the wheel because this is going in the rubbish never to be seen again and that's an unnecessary cost. On the more positive side, for the first time, Fanatec has included button caps. These attach to the buttons as you can see in their raw form with no buttons attached whatsoever, which is how I like it because the colours look really cool so that's how I'm going to leave it. But if you want a little windscreen wiper and a headlight on one of your buttons, Fanatec has you accommodated. There's also a sticker sheet too so you can label your buttons just in case you forget. So let's talk about the two really unique features around the back here. First of all, the shifter is one solid bar. Unlike the other wheels, which have a separate mechanism for changing up and down, this one has a very short throw, which is nice, and the opposite lever moves up when you press down. I thought it would take me some time to get used to that, but it did not. It took me about one second, and I loved it straight away. More interestingly, down below, we have two analog panels. You can use them for one of three things. You can map them as buttons, you can use them for accelerator, or break, which is actually really handy for people who do not have the use of their legs because this is the only product out there that lets them have a go at sim racing. 
Lastly, you can use them as Formula One style launch control. Once you've set the bite point for your car, and you'll have to do that for each car in your collection, hold down that one, put it in first and floor it, hold down the other one, when the lights go green, let go of that one, your car's rolling, let the other clutch out. See you later, boys. So, in conclusion, should you purchase the new Fanatec wheel, the McLaren GT3? I think so, yes, you should. I recommend it thoroughly. If you already have the Formula wheel, the decision becomes a little bit harder. It's almost as good, but better. Uh, it's $300 more that you probably could spend on something else, like a nice set of pedals, so you don't need it. If you come into the Fanatec ecosystem from scratch, so you're moving up from one of the Logitech wheels, you're only going to want to buy one wheel from the start to see how you like it. This is the wheel to get. It covers all of your bases, fits in perfectly between the Formula wheel and the other wheels, ha has the added dual clutch, which, which you can use for the launch control, which is undeniably funky. It feels better in the hand than any of the other wheels, hands down, and that alone is almost reason enough to purchase it. You've got the dual clutches, you've got the rotary dials, supported in almost no games, but will be soon, and it looks sexy AF. It's just so unbelievably gorgeous. I can't stop looking at it. Maybe you should think about getting one for yourself.